Good morning, Church. Welcome back, brothers and sisters, to our daily devotion insight. Today, I'm going to share with you a devotion entitled "Work It Out." Work it out. Philippians chapter two, verses twelve and thirteen says, "Therefore, my dear friends, as you have always obeyed, not only in my presence, but now much more in my absence, continue to work out your own salvation." You know, for it is God who work who works in you to will and to act in order to fulfill His good purpose. Hallelujah, Amen. You know, this scripture almost sounds like a con- contradiction, doesn't it? But instead, it is a paradox, not a contradiction. It 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 seemingly ab- a a, a seemingly ab- absurd or contradictory statement proposition. You know, as G.K. Chesterton described a paradox as truth standing on its head to get attention. Truth standing on its head to get attention. Notice the Bible doesn't say, work for your your salvation. The Bible doesn't say, work for your salvation. To work for something means to earn it, deserve it, merit it. But the Bible plainly teaches that salvation isn't something that we have to work for or earn. It is a free gift of God's grace for you and for me. Mentioned in Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 and 9. When Paul says, work out your salvation, he is actually talking about spiritual workout. He's actually talking about this spiritual workout. What do you do during a physical workout. You develop and tone the muscles God has already provided for you physically on your body. So to work out means to grow and make the most of what you have been given. One more time. To work out means to grow and make the most of what you have been given. What Paul is saying here is this. Develop your spiritual life. When he said, work out your salvation with fear and trembling, it means work out your, develop your spiritual life. God has a part in our spiritual growth and we, remember this, and we too have a part. He provides the power, but we must assess it. He, pro, we, he provides the power, but we have to assess it. Flip the switch. Let it flow through our lives to fulfill His will for us. You know, sometimes we find being a Christian is not easy. Everything around seems to be very difficult. Praying, uh, studying the Bible, serving, coming to church seems to be very difficult. Changing some areas of our life seems to be very difficult. But God, by His Holy Spirit, will strengthen you, will empower you, will energize you, will assist you when you rely and depend on Him. But we have to do our part to walk with Him through it for change to happen. Amen? Practically speaking, how do we do that then? Hmm? How do we do that? Number one, by spending time praying and reading God's Word each day. Number two, by sharpening and strengthening one another through fellowship, by sharpening, helping one another, by strengthening, building up one another through the fellowship of one another. Number three, by worshipping and enjoying God's presence. By worshipping and enjoying God's presence. Number four, by exercising the gifts God has given us for ministry. Whatever, whatever gifting or ability you, are, you have from God, use them. And you are toning your growth, toning your spiritual life in Christ. Number five, by serving in your local church, you know, wherever you are in your local church, serve, get involved to serve and you tone your spiritual life and you build your spiritual life and grow your spiritual life in serving. Number six, by reaching the lost for Christ. You, we all need to go out to reach someone for Jesus, share with them the good news of salvation and bring them to the house of Jesus Christ. Get them saved into the kingdom of God. Amen. And lastly, by going into the mission field. By going into the mission field. 
go and travel to other lands and kind of join the church mission team to go into the mission field to reach the lost for Jesus. Amen. The fact is this. God has already done His part in every one of our lives. Deposited His gifting, His ability, placed His Spirit in every one of us, not just to seal off uh, uh, our salvation in Him, but at the same time, tell you now, He empower you with His Holy Spirit within to follow Him. Not, take so He has already done His part. Now, it's up to you and I to do our part. Now, it's up to you and I to do our part. Amen. Let's pray. Work it out. Father, help us to learn to work out our salvation with fear and trembling. Cooperating, developing, growing in you. I pray, God, that you help us, protect us, guide us, lead us, and bless us with a great day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you, and you have a great, great day.